Hello guys and welcome back to Thai Talk with Dan, where we talk everything Thailand. Now recently guys, I've been asked uh, the same questions. Why I started my YouTube channel, uh, why do I take so much time out to try to help other people, why did I take the time out to help someone like Chris, etc, etc. And we're going to talk about why Thailand can be heaven or hell for most people. So let's roll the intro guys and let's get straight in to, to today's video. Okay guys, welcome back. So let's kick off the video with why I started the YouTube channel. Anybody that's been following me for quite a while will understand why I do this channel. Now, it's not to get rich, it's not to make any money because there's hardly any money to be made from it. You get around about £3.50 for every 1,000 views that a video gets. So my videos normally average between around about 1,000 views to 3,000 views. So it's not much money. And all the money that I do get, gets saved up to help buy equipment that I need for the channel. So moving forward, I can go around Thailand and I can interview uh, interesting foreigners and share their stories with you guys. And that's what I'm hoping to do in the future. Now, the reason why I started the channel was very simple. Over the six years that I've spent here in Thailand, I spent a lot of time on YouTube and I couldn't really find any YouTube channels that were spending their days helping people, advising people on the issues that foreigners can face when they come over here to Thailand to help ensure that Thailand can be, can be paradise for others and not hell like it is for a lot of people. So guys, I decided to turn YouTube into a bit of a hobby. So every day I try to make a video that I feel can help maybe one or two people. I'm not naive, guys. I know if a thousand people watch one of my videos, I might be lucky to help one or two with the information that I present. But that's absolutely fine for me. And it was expected before I started the channel, guys. So the way I look at it is that if I can help one or two people turn Thailand into their own slice of paradise, then I'm doing my job pretty well. And any more than one or two is a bit of a bonus, guys. And if I do help more people than that, I will be extremely happy. Now, since I have been here in Thailand, I can honestly state I have heard more negative stories than positive stories, a hell of a lot more. Um, People seem to share the stories of woe, um, basically the, the bad stories that have happened to people where they have literally, literally lost their whole life savings here in Thailand and become broke or just broken hearted. Now as most of us are aware, the main reasons why people can get problems in Thailand is normally due to the Thai women. That they meet and that's the reason uh, why guys I speak about Thai women so much to try to help you avoid the bad ones and hopefully hopefully find a good woman but in order to find a good woman guys you have to be realistic and you have to try to find a woman that is on your level not someone that is literally less than half your age a 10 out of 10 stunning knockout um, where you're having to buy her affection because this is where a lot of people fall down here in Thailand. When men are in love or lustful over a woman, their common sense goes from here to here. It is a fact. Your blinkers go on and you just live in that moment without thinking and listening and looking at the warning signs because you're finally with the woman of your dreams. 
Now I've made a lot of videos going into subjects like this, so I don't want to delve deep into it guys, there is no point. Most people know by now that yeah, your choice of woman can make your experience here in Thailand either a paradise or a hell. It's all down to you as an individual. So guys, I just do my best just, be, just to be totally transparent and be honest with you guys, even when it makes myself look bad, I don't care. As long as you're getting the right information to ensure that when you retire over here in Thailand or you're younger than that and you come and move here in, uh, to Thailand and you decide to spend a life here, that it's not a life filled with regret, but it's filled with happiness. So guys, that's the reason for me doing this channel. You know, YouTube takes around about half of my day up and then the other half of the day I'm working. I have to juggle family life in between and literally I am non-stop non from around seven o'clock in the morning up until around about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night. And when I do get into bed, it's literally lights out because I'm absolutely shattered. But if I can help one or two people with each video that I make, then I'm doing a good job and it feels like it's all worthwhile because my videos don't get hundreds of thousands of views in order to make lots of money out of the channel. And I don't think with the content that I produce, it will ever get to that level, guys. I'm a bit of a realist, but that's absolutely fine. I just want a nice community here on this channel where everybody helps advise others in order to make sure that the good people that are here for the right reasons and have the, uh, the right intentions, uh, we allow them to uh, make Thailand their home and turn it into their little slice of paradise. So guys, Thailand, heaven or hell? Yeah, for the majority of people, unfortunately, it can be hell. And it is down to the bad decisions. Uh, guys, we all know the, the problems by now where people can turn into alcoholics quite easily here in Thailand. They can get uh, severe depression over here in Thailand due to bad relationships, etc. Or losing a hell of a lot of money. A lot of people can get very, very, very depressed and spend their whole life savings trying to live the dream over here in Thailand and getting with women that are so far above their level that that woman doesn't really care about you and it's all about your money. And at the end of it, you're broke and you could do some serious harm to yourself or you could literally go back home broke or sleep on Jomti and Beach, for example, absolutely broke with no idea on how to fix yourself now especially if you're later on in years so i do my best guys to make sure that that doesn't happen to you that you make the right decisions and if you do want to find a woman and you want to settle down here in thailand and live out your remaining years then you find a good woman that's not going to eat all your money and you can live a very normal and happy life just like other people are doing right now there are a lot there are a lot of positive stories here in Thailand people have been married for 10 20 30 40 years and they're still happily married they have a good woman they've got children here they are very very happy and grateful and thankful that they don't have to live back in their own home countries where everything's going to hell. So guys, if you want to make Thailand your paradise, don't come over here with ego, flashing your cash, going with silly young women that are all out for money, going with a woman that's totally above your station. You need to find a woman that's on your level in order for you to live a nice, humble existence for the remaining years that you have left on this planet and enjoy yourself and feel like you're in paradise the weather is amazing guys the people can be amazing your experience here can be absolutely wonderful 
if you allow it to. So guys, always do your research before doing something big within your life. If you're deciding to come over here to live in Thailand, do your research on the scams, do your research on the women, and do your research on the best place to possibly live here in Thailand. And when you come over here, please visit a lot of different places. You can visit the tourist places and see if that's uh, the type of place that you want to live, or you can travel around and visit the north, uh, the south, or the east, and have a look around and find the best province for you to settle down in, guys. So you are very happy and comfortable and you don't end up being another statistic where you're just a miserable uh, person here in Thailand that hates everybody as we have, enough of, we, has, we have enough of them already, yeah? And most of them really, guys, should just go back home now. It's not good to live out your remaining years feeling that way you never know if you go back home and you are the, one of those types of people you might be happier guys now in thailand over the years guys um like i say i did a lot of research on youtube i did a lot of research online to find out the pitfalls uh what's happened to other foreigners why it's become um literally hell on earth for them over here and as I delve deeper into my research, I've seen the amount of suicides that have happened over the years. Also, um, obviously in the news articles, it doesn't go into any kind of detail on why that foreigner has took their own life. Um, but we all can imagine what's probably happened. And I would say that probably 95 times out of 100, it's probably down to a female, guys, down to a broken heart, down to losing all the life savings and all the money, and they just feel like they've had enough. Now, obviously, guys, this is a very, very bad thing when people feel like there's no other way out apart from that. And I suppose that I go into detail, guys, and I, and I try to help as best as I can to make sure that people don't go as far as that. Do you know what I mean? I want people to make Thailand their paradise. For me, guys, Thailand is my paradise. I'm not a rich guy anymore. I'm a very humble guy with not much, but I have a family, and, and the people around me are the ones that make me feel rich and are the ones that make me feel truly happy. And even for me, living in rural Thailand, under my little bamboo hut, um, I feel like I am, I have my own slice of paradise, and I am extremely happy with this. But for other people, guys, my life wouldn't be good enough for them. They want more, and everybody's different. But guys, be careful. You know, know your limitations, and make sure that you turn Thailand into your slice of paradise and don't be another statistic like millions of men before you. Okay guys, very simple video today. I hope you understood the message that I was trying to give. So this has been Thai Talk with Dan, where we talk everything Thailand, and I'll speak to you all again shortly. Cheers guys.